Hi, guys. Uh, Eric, pharmacist here in Casper from Medicap. Used to work at another chain. You may recognize me from down on CY. Um, about a year ago, my wife and I opened up the Medicap Pharmacy um, up on Wyoming Boulevard next to Poplar by Blue Ridge Coffee. And uh, we're celebrating our first year of business tomorrow. A um, little bit different than normal, normal uh, anniversary celebration. Uh, with uh, quarantine and our drive up being the only way to access us right now. But um, we're here, we're open to serve the public. So tell me kind of what went into the thought process of opening a privately owned pharmacy. Right. So um, about two years ago, because it takes about a year to get a pharmacy started and off the ground from first initial inception or whatever. But um, my wife woke up with a, a dream that she had said was the most vivid dream ever of opening a Hallmark store right next to Blue Ridge Coffee. And uh, this is ultimately with both of us being pharmacists, we thought that would be a great front end to a pharmacy, um, you know, bringing the Hallmark back in after her Saddlers went out about five years ago and also bringing back what Byright had in the community of local ownership, uh, caring a little bit different than the corporations. And uh, here we are almost two years later and a year after opening and growing good and, and uh, letting the uh, coronavirus, uh, you know, impact a little bit, but, mm -hmm. but we're still open. Our drive up is, is good access for our store. We have uh, logistics plans to keep that flowing um, a little more efficiently than some of the other uh, drive ups. And of course the other stores that you would have to go in and stand in line with um, various other, um, uh, people in the community, which we, we'd like to, to be around the people in the community, but right now is probably not the best option for that. Definitely. Um, so how is it, how is kind of like a big box store different than a privately owned um, pharmacy? So the nice thing about this is our decisions that, that impact our patients are made at the dinner table at night. Um, and what we can do to, to improve services, to make uh, the, the uh, experience for our customers better, safer, all that. Um, the corporations right now, um, and, and always, it's a structure of a corporation, those decisions are made um, at the central headquarters and then um, one size fits all to, to everybody in the country. It, it was headed in a direction that was not... Um, not what we felt was conducive to the to the patient care portion of pharmacy. Um, okay, so is so is the hallmark the hallmark is not open either right now. So we're doing that a little bit different um, through the drive up, and I have posted some videos of uh, some of the hallmark um, non cards, the the decorations and stuff like that through um, our Facebook page at Medicap. Uh, what is it? Facebook.com Medicap Casper, I believe. And if somebody were to come through the window, we are more than happy to go pull a few things off the shelf, let you look at them. Um, it's a little tougher to pick out the right card. Um, if somebody were looking for a, a card that says just the right thing, um, that's, that's a little bit tougher right now, but, um, we have, you know, we have our whole assortment of Easter, um, and goodies, which was kind of interesting because, excuse me, because last year we opened like 18 days before Easter. And so we had this whole store full of Easter and nobody knew we were here. And now we're shut down for this year. But um, we do have a good selection of, of Easter, you know, stuffed animals. And a few of those are on display at the one of the drive up um, window slide side. So there's a few things that you can look at there. And then we'd be more than happy to go grab additional items if anybody's interested. Awesome. So is that the main change that you've made in the past couple of weeks is that you just have the drive through open or are there other changes that you've made in, in how you're taking care of people um, as well? Sure. So um, yeah, our front, our front lobby is locked with the door with a sign on the door that says um, our drive through is open. We'd be more than happy to take care of your over the counter needs and prescription needs through the drive up. Um, I suppose the biggest, um, uh, change that you, that you see, see and start feeling from this side is that everything you touch, you, you hand sanitize, um, our baskets that we, um, prepare the, the, um, orders in for the patients. I mean, those are, 
different baskets each day and they're sprayed down with alcohol um, and cleaned for for the next day. Um, those are some things. I mean, you keep them clean usually, but this is this is a little bit more um, uh, intentional uh, uh, due to the environment that we're in right now. So I think everyone's probably thinking, um, are you running out of medicine? Do we still have plenty for all of our needs or um, is there a shortage? Sure. So um, initially it seemed like there was a little shock to the supply chain. Um, that, and that's been a couple weeks ago. Um, even just today, most everything that we've back ordered in the last uh, two weeks showed up today. And so the supply chain is catching up to some of the uh, panic demands of the system uh, or over the counter oh, like our children's ibuprofen we've been able to keep in stock our children's Tylenol those have been really hot items and hard to get anywhere else and we've we've been able to keep that I'm actually looking at about six or eight boxes of them right now if uh, um, you know just just keeping that flow but we were pretty proactive in this too um, we we looked at what was probably coming down the line and started ordering things so that we could continue to take care of our neighbors here in Casper. And we've done pretty good. The things that we run out of, of course, are your, your masks. Um, thermometers are trickling in on occasion. We get a few a week, not many. And we do have a list of people that we do. We, we are calling when they come in, um, you know, hand sanitizers, you know, that's if, if, uh, I'm, sh I'm sure that uh, that's got a hot street market value right now. <laughs> so well, that was my next question: Is do you have hand sanitizer? I'm out. So. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty tough, and I'm hoping that um, the uh, backwards distillery when they get up and mm -hmm. and I don't know I don't know their process any of that, but um, very thankful that they're uh, stepping up to to help fill that and. Um, definitely take care of the uh, and this this is just my opinion take care of the hospital first uh then the care providers and then hopefully there will be some others to go out into the community um because right now we're i mean we're taking care of hundreds of patients a day and we we have to keep that clean from one to the next and so i'm hoping you know definitely make sure those hospitals and those frontline um health care providers are are filled up with what they need before I think so. them doing that is a great um, just example of how we we're adapting. You know, there's yep. many things yep. that are going to change that are probably going to change forever. I I've probably said this before on a live, but we're going to probably shop different. Right. You know, we're going to, there's so many things that we're going to do differently. We're going to interact with people probably digitally a little more than we ever have. Yep. Um, there's so many things. Uh, yep. but so just real quick, back to that supply chain. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We have the ability to project what our current patients are going to need over the next month um, through a couple reports. And we were able to um, get things ahead of time to make sure that our current patients and then a stock for new patients coming into us um, can be can still be taken care of with that. And um, I do also want to mention one of the promotions that we have right now is I've got a 32 inch uh, smart TV that any new patient coming to our pharmacy between now, well, actually between March 1st and uh, July 10th um, will be entered into that drawing. Of course, patients over 18, blah, 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 you know, all the legal restrictions. Yeah. Um, and then uh, on the 11th, supposedly, if everything goes well, that will be the Hallmark um, Keepsake Ornament Christmas Ornament premiere. And we will do a drawing that day and um, notify the winner of, of the 32-inch smart TV. Awesome. Okay, so if somebody wants to be a patient or client, um, how do they go about that? So uh, there's a few different ways. Our website that is medicap.casper.medicap.com. And there is a link on there that you can enter your information in your existing pharmacy. We get that um, sent right into our system. And then we contact the current pharmacy and request all of the prescriptions of that patient to be transferred to us. Um, I know they're busy too. And so we usually try to expect, you know, turn around in, in 24 hours. I don't, I don't try to inundate them and say, Hey, I need this right now because their time is uh, caring for their patients is important too. Um, mm -hmm. And so then we get everything set up to um, start taking care of the patient. We'll probably give a call to get all the demographic information, how we can get a hold of you. Um, if you want text messages, when things are ready, how we can communicate with you, get the insurance information. 
we do most of the work. If we need to contact a doctor to get refills because there weren't at the previous pharmacy, we do those steps to take care of the patient and then get them right on schedule. And then we work to synchronize um, patients' medications. And it's worked really good for quite a few families here in Casper so that if you have four or five different prescriptions, you're not making four or five different trips to the pharmacy. We can, over the span of two, three, or four fills, we can synchronize that up so that they're all coming at the same time. It's not a instantaneous fix, but it is certainly something that um, uh, over the span of, of a short period of time, I feel we can get everything lined up for people. And and uh, it's not that we don't want to see you more. We love we love our patients and have lots of joking time, but um, it's, it's certainly a, a, a nice benefit for our patients only having to make that trip one time. So I guess if you go to the doctor and you need a prescription, they, they can also just send it to you if you haven't um, had that prescription before, correct? That is, that is correct. When you, when you go for an annual appointment, which sounds like they're going to be a month away before they're doing much of that anymore, but um, you can request right there in the office that your prescriptions be sent to the Medicap pharmacy, and then we would follow the same procedures of um, working to contact you to get all the information necessary to get those filled. Um, a lot of times our efficiencies um, that we apply here at Medicap are um, to the point that by the time somebody's coming in from the doctor's office, we're, we're in very close to having it done or sometimes even have it ready and then we just have to resolve maybe some insurance issues when a person comes if we didn't have that really pretty simple efficient um we we've worked really hard to make that uh, good for for our patients that's awesome what is your favorite thing about casper yeah well um that's that's interesting my uh my wife grew up here. She graduated from Kelly Walsh, um, and I won't tell you the year, but it wasn't wasn't <laughs> recent. <laughs> um, and I grew up all over all over Wyoming, from Gillette to Laramie to Cheyenne to Sheridan, and then back to school in Laramie and Cheyenne. And now, um, about. 18 years ago, we moved back to Casper to be uh, closer to my wife's family and, and whatnot. And probably what, uh, never living here before, um, the, the neighbors that we've experienced, the, the interactions, the community, the, um, I mean, we've, we've tried to become quite active in different things from coaching youth soccer to, um, uh, of course, pharmacy, pharmacy gets you involved in the community a whole lot too. Um, but we've been pretty, pretty active. And, and uh, so, I mean, really boil it down to the people. I mean, the people are what makes a community what it is. And uh, all being from Wyoming, we, we seem to, to be pretty comfortable here. Yeah. So I've been talking every day about how we just need to stay positive. I mean, we have to, we have to know what's going on. And, um, and sometimes, you know, it's a fight right? To stay yeah. that positive. But if you had a message of hope, if there was somebody out there kind of having a, one of those, I don't know, negative days, or they're just, they're just worrying. Um, what would your, what would your message of hope be to, to our community and to the people in it? Turn off the news. Um, <laughs> that's, that's one. Um, you know, as we've come together, the, the interesting thing that I've seen through this is the neighbors helping neighbors. I had, um, uh, and granted, we have we have excellent neighbors where we're at, but we have a we have a couple that's a neighbor of ours that are in their 80s, I believe, and you know just checking on them constantly. Um, but the way the communities come together, I had I had somebody here who said they have a friend who's a seamstress and is making um, uh, some face masks to share with their friends and family and whatnot. And so the the way that the communities come together. Um, to help out wherever they possibly can. I already mentioned the, the brewery here in town that's doing the, the hand sanitizer. Um, you know, just, it seems like there's a lot, it seems like this has brought more community out in the community. And so focus on that, focus on where you can help because every one of us has those abilities to help somebody with something too. And so focus on that. Cause then you, then you've, kind of put yourself in the in in the background and focus on what what you can bring to somebody else i agree i think that's when i get when i get kind of down about down and out about all this that's what i do reach out to somebody that 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 you know probably just needs to hear 
somebody say, Hey, how are you? Yep. Yep. Exactly. And, you know, maybe if you're running to the store, call your neighbors and see if they need toilet paper. <laughs> selling toilet paper? What's that? Are you selling toilet paper? Actually, the funny thing is, as soon as the, the crunch hit, we put two cases on back order. I do have three roll, three packages of 12 toilet paper rolls still left from that order. It was back ordered for like, I don't know, a couple of weeks. And then finally it came in and we just kind of lit up, you know, this is rolled gold. So, <laughs> and, oh, and when I, when I say that, I mean, that's, uh, um, uh, and just to be careful here, it's it's not it's the regular retail price that those are those are going at. So as I say that, that's tongue in cheek about rolled gold. Yeah. Well, I I can't believe I'm like, when are we going to have enough? Because right. it seems like it's still gone. So anyway. Yes, and I've heard that's because the West Coast basically they transferred most of the distribution centers to move out to the West Coast, and so that's put us in the in a little back order bind here too. So. Um, yeah. A little bit of panic in a couple areas, and it just it spread across the country. Yeah. So, is there anything? But, is there anything else you want to tell us about Medicap? So just just a couple things. Some of the questions that we've had since we've opened are, "What kind of a pharmacy are you?" Um, which was interesting to me, being in the pharmaceutical world, that that there was um, misunderstanding. We are a regular, full service retail community pharmacy. Um, the difference between us and the grocery stores is that we are locally owned. We accept um, nearly all commercial insurances here in town. Of course, the state, the city, um, you know, lots of Blue Cross Blue Shield, various insurances. That way, we accept Medicare for those patients that. Um, um, are in our Medicare population. We accept Medicaid and then also workers comp. There are very few insurance companies that we are not affiliated with. We also have a uh, um, loyalty program for patients who aren't insured, which brings those costs down for a patient as low as we can get it um, and, and still take care of the patient, uh, keep the lights on, all those things. And so so we have multiple options, but we are your standard community pharmacy, just with a, a lot more, um, m lot more pleasant experience uh, from from what I've seen um, in my time as a pharmacist. Awesome. So, yeah. Well, we sure appreciate you um, getting on here with us. Um, we love small business. Well, thank you, thank you, and the, and equally so, the small businesses here in this community love our neighbors too. I agree. Well, thank you so much. Um, give us give us your address. So we are at 4641 Southwest Wyoming Boulevard. If you're familiar with the shopping center, that's uh, basically across from Yesness Pond on Wyoming Boulevard near Poplar. We're at the other end of the building from Blue Ridge Coffee. So you're certainly welcome to come to our drive up, drop a script off, run down to Blue Ridge Coffee's drive up, get a, okay. get a drink or something like that and circle back around and we may very well have it ready for you. What are your hours? So Medicap Pharmacy is open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6. And then we're open on Saturday from 9 to 2. And then we recover on Sunday. Right. Especially right now, probably. Yeah. Yes, for sure. Well, so. we, we really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for this opportunity. See you later. All right. Bye, guys.